but y'all know the history with top rank. Every big fighter that they've had, what has happened? They end up leaving. Exactly. They've ended up leaving. Why? Because they can't get the big fight or the money ain't right. Right? Yeah, that's a fact. Right, that's a fact. So when it comes down to it, all, all I'm saying as far as the, the Valdez and the, and the Shakur fight, it's an obvious fight. It's a it's a really good fight. Now, vlog is 100% correct in terms of what Valdez are we going to get. That's what makes this fight really intriguing because I'm like, if we get the if we get the Brichel I'm, I'm, guy without the juices. I, I, I disagree. That's what I'm saying. To me, it's, it's a little less intriguing because – of the traction that he's been on since the upset over Butchell. So you feel he like he getting cashed in? Yeah, I think that's what it is, bro. I <laughs> <drop it. laughs> if you took the words out of my mouth, I would say exposed. I was going to use the word exposed. Like, okay, we got to go on and get, get what I we to, got. I have, to, I have to disagree with that because if that was the case and they were trying to cash him out, bro, the reason why I would say I'd have to disagree is because when I look at the 130 division on the whole, bro. It's cold. There ain't really no fights there that's going to make mega money. So the reason why I, I, I say what I'm going to say is because someone like uh, Vic, um, um, uh, Valdez, Oscar Valdez, when you look at the track record, and he's, the Bichel fight basically just propelled him into fame out of obscurity. That second fight that he had after his first title defense, Again, because of the whole P, um, the whole PD saga and stuff like that, his name was still in the forefront. He still was getting publicity. Now, in my opinion, bro, regardless of whether he's on the juice or not, I would have continued to almost ride that horse until it falls off. The reason why I'm saying that is because it's not like, it's not like Valdez's name has lost traction since that fight. He, 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 his I ability, disagree with that. I bro, disagree bro, with bro, that. Bro, bro, no, wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. No, no, when, no, I mean, no. when I mean, he might not have the same love, but his name is still known. People yeah. still know it. All publicity is good publicity. And I subscribe no, I mean, that's to where, That's where we differ. I'm thinking they're looking at the potential of, of truly being um, – the sort of champion you can build up to be a possible unified champion, a possible champion that could go to another weight class and be a, a issue or be a, a oh, what well, can Valdez? I've never heard Valdez Lomachenko. I've never heard that. But you have. Well, okay, let me let me get let me give me let me let me finish, bro. I've never heard it because they've seen something with the the PED situation coming out. Then you come back in your second fight, main event situation, where you're supposed to be the guy. This is a cakewalk. And you get handled like that. It exposed himself to the big wigs. It exposed himself to the suits. So the suits are reevaluating him as a boxer and as a bag per situation. So get what we can get out of him. If he lose the strap, if he win the strap, maybe he he done turned it around and we still got something. If he don't, he cashed out. And he has to rebuild. We're not snatching the contract from him. I doubt if they snap. I, I don't know what kind of six, five fight contract he may be on with them, but I'm just saying, I think is they, they saw something in the boxing, not per se the name recognition, which you're talking about. I think they saw something in the boxing. And why lose him to a, a to a to a guy that don't have a name? You understand what I'm saying?